How's it going? Thank you for joining me for another video of this Gravely Repower. Last time we just took a little quick look at the engine to be sure that that runs, and hey, it does. So we're gonna keep going on with that um, actually adapter kit. And starting with this input gear, we took that out on the second video. And as it stands, it's a, it's a bit long. How long is it exactly? Let's go this way. It sticks out exactly three inches. That's like two inches too many. Well, exactly two inches too many. The, um, the shaft coupler that I got ordered is exactly one inch for each side. So we're gonna have one inch on the engine side and one inch on the shaft side. So let's just see where we need that to be. Sweet, that actually perfectly lines up with a wear mark that goes around the whole thing. So that'll make it nice and easy to cut through. So we're gonna cut through this, get it a little bit shorter, and then we're gonna have to bust out the Dremel because I need a keyway, and a keyway isn't an easy thing to do. Usually you need some kind of machine to do that, and I don't have that, and I'm not gonna wait, and I'm not gonna pay for it. So I'm just gonna bust out the Dremel, and it'll have to be good enough. Stay with it, we'll see how it goes. I apologize to all of the Gravely lovers out there. This input gear is not coming back. Ta-da. Oh yeah, that's mint. Look at that, dead on. No, that's, uh, that's, actually, that's seriously awful. So um, I'm going to get it back in the vise and grind it down to some semblance of acceptability. Seven-eighths. Seven eighths. Well, looks like we got seven eighths all around. Not quite the one inch that I was shooting for, but that's probably for the best. We gotta have a gap in that uh, connecting shaft anyway. So I went up and measured that keyway on the engine. It is one quarter wide and one eighth deep. Kind of strange, but uh, that's what it is. I have that roughly, roughly, roughly marked out here and I got my friend my friend the Dremel and we'll see what we can do here Okay, so we're all done here and there we go there's a shaft of a spare motor that's what we're dealing with here and here is our adapter as you can see this input gear right here pretty much flush it is a teeny bit undersized and that's because I don't have the key or the shaft coupler here just yet 
and I want to leave a bit of room for error just in case I need to make a little bit more room. But it's looking pretty good. Overall, I'm happy with that. And uh, I think I'm going to call it. I'm getting pretty hungry. Join me next time, and we'll be making the actual adapter plate. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.